Hey y'all, it's your girl Sweat Dazzling here and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. <sighs> y'all, so many good things are happening, okay? So first and foremost, hopefully you've noticed, <laughs> but my quality of video, my video quality has improved. I decided to finally get something that I've been wanting for a very, very long time, which is a good camera. So since my birthday is in a few days, 14 days to be exact. So yeah, just putting that out there for, you know, you want to send me something, you can find the details down below. <laughs> but anyway, yes, my birthday's coming up in two weeks and I decided that I wanted to just splurge on myself this year. I never really spend like an extensive amount of money on myself. So this year I was like, you know what? It's my golden birthday and I'm going to live my life like it's golden and I'm just going to ball out a little bit. Not really though. I'm just balling on a budget. <laughs> Anyway though, y'all, yeah, I bought a Canon T7i and I am so happy and so excited that I finally went through with it. I have been wanting to get into photography since I was in high school, but I've been just scared to do it. And, you know, being around people and being married to someone who pushes you to do those things that, you know, you truly have an interest in is so helpful. Um, so yes, here I am pretty much with the new camera. Now, for today's video, just go ahead and get into it now. I am going to do a flexi rod set. I haven't done a flexi rod set since probably 2014, 2015. So it has been a very, very long time. Um, I'm a little nervous because you know it has been so long. I have no idea how it's going to come out. But to do my flexi rod set, I'm going to use the twisting cream from um, Cream of Nature. And this is the Pure Honey Moisture Whip t Twisting Cream. And I'm also going to use the Not Away Leave-In Detangler. And I did a full review on this product line, well, from the, with the products that I have anyway, um, before. So I'll link the video to that review above. But yes, I'm just going to go ahead and hope that this goes well. <laughs> so my hair is prepped. I wash, washed and I deep conditioned my hair with the um, Moisture Whip, um, excuse me, Moisture Mask from this same line. And just like last time, it did not disappoint. My hair looks very good. My curls are nice and popping. I had a, an unfortunate experience with products um, before and it kind of, I don't know, made my hair react a little weird. But as soon as I use that, um, that moisture mask, I'm telling you, my hair just like bounced back like that. So again, I recommend getting the hair mask from the Cream of Nature Pure Honey line if you haven't already, if you haven't tried it out. If you have tried it out though, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section and let me know how you like that um, line of products. But moving right along, um, I'm going to just start by oiling my scalp and I'm going to do that off camera and then I'll come back on and we can get into the process of flexi riding my hair. So I have now oiled my hair and if you're interested in knowing what some of my favorite oils are, be sure that you watch my most recent video or I guess my video that I posted before this where I talk about hair oils and I go through you know like the differences between carrier oils and essential oils and um, a lot of people said that they found it very informative so if you are interested in knowing what oils I like to use then go ahead and watch that video it'll be linked above so now getting right into these flexi rods um I have the orange flexi rods and they've been in this bag for a good little minute <laughs> and i also have this set of flexi rods uh, with just a different color so they're the blue and the purple ones and i'm going to start in the back um and work my way forward now that i have that part of my hair separated i am just going to put this part up into a ponytail and I don't think I'm going to add any water to my hair just because I don't. I have somewhere to go tomorrow and I don't want my flexi rods to take forever to dry. So I'm going to just, you know, go with the flow <laughs> and do them while my hair is damp rather than very wet. Um, this is like a medium sized section. I don't want to do them too big, but I don't want to do them too small either. Um just because again i don't want them to take too long to dry but also i don't want a million and one flexi rods in my hair <laughs> 
So I'm gonna first go in with the Not Away Leave-In Detangler and just add that to my hair. And I'm gonna use my comb. It's like medium tooth comb. It's not like a small tooth comb, but it's not a wide tooth comb either, just to make sure that my hair is nice and smooth. It's really the key to a you know great twist out, flexi rod set, perm rod set, anything of the sort is to make sure that your hair is smooth and not free. So now I'm going in with the Moisture Whip Twisting Cream. And this stuff is so thick, you really don't need a lot. So I'm probably gonna only use about that much per section. So there are a number of ways to put the flexi rod on your hair. I think I'm gonna start at the bottom. Actually, I'm gonna try to start at the top and see how that goes. So I just took the hair, wrapped it around, and as I wrap my hair around, I'm twisting my hair. And then you just tuck the flexi rod so that it looks like this. And I didn't want the flexi rods to be too tight because I am gonna sleep with them in my hair. So I don't, you know, want it to be too tight on my scalp while I'm sleeping and to be too uncomfortable. So that was the first one. All right, I'm done with the back. This is how it looks in the back. So now I'm gonna just start here on this side. I don't exactly know how I'm gonna wear my hair once I'm done, but I did a side part since I usually wear a side part, so I figured it would just be easier to just have a side part in the event I decide to wear my hair like I usually have it. So pretty much what I've been doing, I haven't been parting my hair with the comb or anything. I kinda just separate my hair and grab the desired amount then I'm going to go again, like I said before, into the detangler. I decided to go ahead and add a good amount of product because I really wanted to make sure that my hair is smooth. But after I add in the detangler like I did before, I'm just adding in the twisting cream all the way to the end, making sure that I smooth the end out. So that way when I wrap it around the flexi rod, like it doesn't look too raggedy. <laughs> I then am taking the flexi rod, adding it to my hair. So whenever I twist it around the flexi rod, I'm twisting my hair. And then I just smooth the end. And then if I feel like it's not tied into my scalp, then I would just um, get it as tight as I want it and then bend the ends of the flexi rod. So there we go. Now let's just now let's just go ahead and finish this section. I am 100% finished with adding the flexi rods to my hair, but I did only end up using my one bag of orange flexi rods. I didn't have to use any of the purple or the blue ones which is really good. But I'm gonna let my hair air dry for the rest of tonight and then in the morning I'll probably sit under my hooded dryer for like an hour, hour and a half, just to make sure that my hair is completely dry before I take it down. So y'all already know the drill. <laughs> I will see y'all in the morning for the takedown process. It's now the next day and I wanted to get dressed before <laughs> I took these out, but yeah, these have made my head so much bigger so I can't exactly lift my shirt over my head without stretching it out so i'm going to go ahead and get started with taking my hair out i do want to note that last night i did say that i was going to sit under my dryer um today but my hair actually feels like it's dry all the way and if it's not then i'm gonna just have to work with it so i'm just going to start by spraying some oil on my hands so basically i'm just unraveling the hair from around the flexi rod and then twisting my hair around my finger in the way in which it was on the flexi rod. And you can see, I actually came out pretty nice how um, curly my hair is. So I'm just gonna continue taking these out.
All right. So I counted the flexi rods out as I was taking them out. And if I counted correctly, there were 27 flexi rods. But this is what my hair looks like before taking it out. It actually came out looking better than I anticipated, which is really good. I was pretty concerned for the way that the ends of my hair will look. Okay, I'm dressed now and I have only like 30 minutes before we are leaving. So I'm going to start separating my hair. I did spray a little bit more oil onto my hand and now I'm just going to start from the back and lightly separate it. And I apologize in advance if I'm not looking at the camera while I'm separating my hair. I'm trying to look in the mirror also. So yeah, <laughs> I apologize for that if it looks weird at all. I'm done uh, fluffing out, not fluffing, but separating my hair. There is some frizz, but that's okay. I always talk about frizz. I always talk about how I always end up with some um, extent of frizz due to the ends of my hair being very dry. And let me just show you what it looks like in the back. And like I stated earlier, some parts of my hair didn't get a chance to dry all the way. So you probably saw when I made that sad face when I was taking out this section right here. I was a little sad, but it's all right. I'm just gonna take it away and make it work. Um, I'm now going to take this comb to fluff it up even more. I'm gonna give myself some more volume. Overall, I really like this combination for doing a flexi rod set. Like I said, I haven't done a flexi rod set since like 2013. And actually it was 2013 because I remember the exact day <laughs> that I did a flexi rod set. And it was in 2013. So for me to not have done one in five years, I think this one came out pretty good. The next time I do it, I do think I actually wanna go out and purchase the setting lotion from the Pure Honey line because I didn't get that. I didn't think that I would need it. But um, my husband actually just came in. I don't know if you heard him or not, but he said that he really likes my. He just came in being a weirdo. I was saying that he said that he really liked this style, so I'll probably start doing it more often because it only took me like an hour to install the um, flexi rods and like 15 minutes to take them out, so it really didn't take that much time at all. You're about to knock all that down. Like I was saying, I want to get this set in lotion so I can see how that works for this hairstyle because I feel like it um, may make my hair come out better and I will definitely be sitting under the dryer for at least an hour next time I do my hair just to make sure that everything is actually dry. All in all, yeah, I really like this style. But before I go, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you think that I did a good job since it has been so long since I've done a flexi rod set. Let me know down in the comment section if you like to do flexi rod sets and what products you like to use for your flexi rod sets. Or, you know, tell me, what do you like better? Do you like flexi rod sets or do you like to do a perm rod set? And which of the two do you find to be easier? And besides all of that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell that's going to pop up after you do that so that you could be in the know whenever I post a new video. And with that, I will see y'all in my next one. And as always, stay dazzling.